Well, the Deputy Speaker of Parliament, Honorable Thomas Tayewa, is in total fear after occupying the late Speaker of Parliament, Jacob Olanya's office. Well, that and much more coming up right now on The Buzz UG. Good morning. I'm back again with the latest stories making headlines right now in Uganda. And thank you so much for subscribing to The Buzz UG. In case you haven't, kindly do subscribe and also do tap on the bell for all the notifications. Now, a Ugandan lawyer called Stephen Kalali has petitioned High Court to take action on the poor living conditions of police officers in Uganda. We all know that the accommodation of police officers right here in Uganda is not the best. At some point, government has promised that they are going to improve on the accommodation of, of these guys, but all in vain. Now, this lawyer called Stephen Kalali has run to High Court and want action to be taken immediately. Well, there you go. That is Mr. Stephen Kalali fighting for the police officers right here in Uganda. And by the way, he's not the first to fight for them. Uh, you remember, His Excellency Bobby Wine released a song telling these officers that you guys, we are not fighting you, but we are fighting for you. But the problem with uh, some of these police officers, they mistreat the same people that are fighting for them. And you wonder, I mean, we are fighting for you, but you're mistreating us. Anyway. Now, in other news, the Deputy Speaker of Parliament, Honorable Thomas Tayewa, has officially occupied the office of the late Speaker of Parliament, Jacob Olanya. Uh, you remember recently, the Right Honorable Anita Monk, the current Speaker of Parliament, came out and said she's not willing to occupy Jacob Olanya's office, claiming she had a lot of emotions connected to it. Now, after Anita Monk refused to occupy that office, the current Deputy Speaker of Parliament, Honorable Thomas Tayewa, had no option but to occupy it. But guess what? This big man invited parliamentary chaplains for the Catholics and Anglicans to hold special prayers for the office. Well, I think he's scared that what happened in Omoro at the burial ceremony of Jacob Olanya could happen in the office as well. That is why he had to invite some people for special prayers. But Mr. Tayewa, calm down, bro. Calm down. Nothing will happen in that office. <laughs> anyway, uh, he started sitting in that office yesterday. And right here on the Buzz UG, I wish him all the best. Now, in other news... Bobby Wine's best friend, that is Nubian Nee, has responded to Jose Chameleon on behalf of NUP about the bitter statements that Chameleon put out recently at the birthday celebration of President Museveni's son, that is Muhozi Kainerugaba, at Lugogo Cricket Oval. Now, according to Chameleon, it seems he's not in good terms with Bobby Wine, the president of NUP. I mean, at some point, Chameleon said, I don't want to speak about Bobby Wine. I'm now concentrating on music, which I understand better. Now, Chameleon also said Bobby Wine denied him a party ticket and that's one of the reasons why he, he decided to end his political career because he said he will never contest again. But Bobby Wine's best friend, that is Nubian Lee, has responded that as NUP and Firebase, they have no problem with Chameleon and if it's there, they will definitely reach out to him and find a solution because as musicians, they are like family. Yes, yeah, so that is it from Nubian Lee and let's hope that very soon Chameleon will be at peace with Bobby Wine if all goes well. Well, in other news, uh, musician Palasso is finally out of danger after he had a very successful surgery. Uh, if you didn't know, recently Palasso got a knee injury while performing on stage and he said the pain was too much so he had to undergo surgery and right now we have to thank God that he came out of theater very safe and sound. 
and according to his doctors, they told him that very soon he'll get back on his feet. Well, right here on the Buzz UG, I would like to wish him a very quick recovery. Well, those are some of the big stories that are making headlines right now in Uganda. But of course, uh, I'm still gathering more stories for you. What you have to do, subscribe to the Buzz UG in case you haven't. And also tap on the bell for all the notifications. I did tell you that you got the buzz, you got everything. Thank you.